We're here today to show you the great features and benefits of the Bernina Q20, Q24 long arm quilting machine. My name is Al. And I'm Kathy, and we are Above and Beyond Creative Sewing in Nanuet, New York. In this portion of the video, we're going to show you how to attach your quilt to the frame. It's so easy on this machine. So yeah. easy. So the first thing you need to do is, well, this is our backing. Mm -hmm. So we're going to attach our backing first. You'll notice on the width, width side, we cut in notches, top and bottom. And that is the exact center point of the quilt backing, which makes it a whole heck of a lot easier, easier to, to attach. Get up on the frame. So it's yep. a really simple process. You just fold it in half and just make a little cut. That's it. So this backing has to be right side down because this is going to be the back of our quilt. Makes sense, right? Yes, it does. So we're going to take the whole quilt and drape it over the frame just like so. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of open this up a little bit and just bring it to the back. Okay. There we go. And now, we, Bernina, I'm sorry, Al, makes yeah. it really easy because when you're looking on these rails here, this says back, so you know this is the back leader. And this says top, so you know this is where you load the top of your quilt. Okay? Pretty easy. Really can't be any easier. And because you have ratchets on here, once those ratchets are locked, you can only turn the, the um, rail in one direction. So you can't load you, it right. wrong you can't by mistake. Correct. Yeah. So, and we've tried to make that mistake, <laughs> yeah. and we haven't done it but yet. But you can't make the mistake. You can't. You just, it's impossible to make a mistake. <laughs> so you find the center point of your leader, and if you'll zoom in over here, you'll see the center point is a much bolder line than any of the other points. Of course, you're not limited to using just the center, but it does make it easier when you're doing a larger quilt. So you find the center point by finding the bold markings, take your V notch, line it up with the center bold mark. Hopefully you can see that. It's kind of hard to see because it's on the back, but if you look on the back side, you'll see it. Bring the edge of the quilt all the way up to the edge of the leader. Take your first pin, pin, and go to the left. Now, you'll notice that I have just a little bit of showing past the edge of the leader. That's my reference, so I'm going to cut, try to keep that going all the way across the quilt. Also, I want to have my pin in the same position all the way across the quilt. So I don't want to have one pin down here, one up here, because that'll change, um, vary it. And then, Kathy, would you show them how to do the right side Absolutely. of the leader? Absolutely. And so we're going to notice also that we're using these T-pins. These are nice, really strong pins. So this is what we like to use. They really hold very well, and uh, they're very um, strong. Okay, so now this side, you're going to want to come and pin in the opposite direction. And the reason we're doing that is because when we smooth the quilt out, we're not going to stab ourselves. Okay, so here we go. I'm just going to come just like Al did on the other side. I'm going to try to replicate that as best I can on this side. So we're having just a little bit of fabric up against the leader here, and I'm positioning in on the other side, pinning rather. There you go. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do that the entire length of the leader. Okay, and then we'll show you how to pin the top on. Yeah, we'll be right back once this is pinned on. 